Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry that intro was so long, but you know your girl was feeling yourself. So I'm going in with my chapstick. I'm already all moisturized. If you guys want to know what I use to moisturize, it will be all down below. I'm going in with my Fenty Beauty Primer. And if you guys can tell by the title, I'm doing a New Year's Eve glam look. You know, a real poppin' look for a real poppin' event. You know. It's always popping on this channel. Every single look looks good, you know? So now I'm gonna go in with my two favorite foundations, my Fenty Beauty and my Lancome Tint Idel. The two of these together mixed up are just bomb. I love them, so good. The shades will be down low, low for you guys. If you guys have not tried this mix, please try it. It is so bomb. Before we cake my face up and all this foundation, can we please appreciate this skin? You guys, it is clearing up and it's just we're just living lavish right now. So if you guys want to see a skincare routine, let me know down below. I'll definitely film one for you guys. So I did go in with my M439 brush from Morphe. And we are just going to blend, blend, blend. We want our face to look flawless. You know, we just love a flawless base. So we're just going to keep on blending. If y'all couldn't tell, mine is broken, obviously. But I'm going in with my Shape Tape in the shade Tan. Y'all, this is my favorite concealer. It is so bomb. If you're one of those people that haven't tried it yet, go get your hands on this. It's $27, but it's so worth it. Please go get your hands on this. Y'all, it was so hard drawing these lines on my face. Like, I could not get that line on my nose straight. Like, that was so hard. <laughs> so a new trick that I've been doing recently is letting my concealer sit a little bit longer i let it sit on my face so it'll be more full coverage and it's just been coming out super bomb when i tell you guys i want this flawless base i'm not playing with y'all i like to be flawless and this really helps so we're just gonna blend all that concealer in and i tell when i tell you guys i blend my concealer in for so long because i want it blended and i want everything seamless with my foundation we don't want any spots showing you know you know what i'm saying you know? before i get further into this makeup tutorial yes i do have a shirt on you little nasties and yes mom i do have a shirt on it's a tube top if y'all don't know what it is search it up okay i got a shirt on don't be nasty so y'all know i gotta go in with my fave my matchstick in the shade truffle I honestly don't contour with anything else anymore because this is just my favorite. If you guys didn't know, I do use this trick where I brush it directly on the fan brush and then just go in like that. I feel like it's just more natural and it's not as harsh as just drawing the line straight on your face. I'm going to blend that out. Y'all saw that big old mark? Don't worry. I blend that out. We blend to the gauze, okay? We blend it out. Don't worry about it. So we're just gonna keep on blending. When I tell you guys, I was trying to get my face snatched, snatched, okay? Since I got this low ponytail on my hair, we just wanted my face to be snatched. We want the jawline snatched, we want the forehead snatched, we want our cheeks snatched, we want the nose snatched. We just wanna look snatched, okay? So we're just gonna sculpt out everything and we're just gonna keep on blending and blending, okay? Y'all, I have too much fun when I'm doing my makeup. Like. This makeup playlist that I have, I'm always dancing. It's my favorite playlist. If you guys want to hear it, let me know. I'll make a new playlist video. And you guys, I'm finally using my Laura Mercier powder. I've been missing out, y'all. This powder is so freaking bomb. I'm just going to set my face all over where I had concealer. And I'm just going to set 
literally set and we're just gonna bake our face for the longest, okay? We're just gonna bake, bake, bake and we're just gonna put it everywhere. So now on to my favorite part, the eyes. We are using my Jaclyn Hill palette. When I tell you guys I was missing out on this palette, it is so bomb. Like I was really missing out. So I'm gonna be using these two shades right here. They'll be down below because I forgot the name of them. I planned on blending it just into my crease, but I just took this fluffy brush and basically blended it on my entire lid. The pigment was so crazy on this palette, so. I was, I was here for it. I was getting excited. I was just blending it all out. But yeah, basically we're just gonna keep blending. Like blend, blend, blend on both of these eyes. And we're just gonna keep on blending. Most of this look, you just wanna keep blending. We are doing a really simple halo eye today. But like I said, you still gotta blend, girl. You still gotta blend. Keep blending. So y'all thought that was it? Nah, we gotta go in with our modern renaissance palette. Yes, yes, I'm so excited. So I'm going in with this small little definer brush and I'm going in with that brown color. And you guys, when I tell you the pigment on this palette is crazy, I was shook. I was like, ooh, like that's too dark. But basically I'm using that brush trying to go on the outer corners and I'm starting to make the halo. But honestly, that was too dark and I did mess it up a little bit. So I'm just going to have to go back in and blend as you guys will see. And I'm just blending and blending it in. And as you guys can see, I got a clean blending brush and went in with that same color I started off with. to really just diffuse the brown because it was just too much and that's not what I wanted. in with this like creamy shimmer stick I don't know what brand this is I kind of just found it in my makeup it's kind of like the shimmer sticks from the Fenty Beauty and the KKW sticks so you guys can use one of those but instead of going in with concealer I used this right in the middle to start my halo and it was just so pretty and shimmery and I was obsessed but yeah we're just going in with this and I'm using my finger to pat it in because I like it the way it looks better with my finger <laughs> Honestly, if you guys wanted to, you guys could just leave it just like that and just draw some liner, but I'm extra, so you know I had to go in with that really pretty champagne shade. I wish I knew the names of them right now, but I don't. They're all down below for you guys, just to make it more poppin'. So, y'all know, I'm extra. I feel like since I don't do eyeshadow every day, like, I feel like I gotta be extra and just keep adding stuff to it, because if not... It feels like everyday makeup and that is not what we're going for here so like we just got to keep adding we just got to be extra that's like my motto extra 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 you always got to be extra if y'all couldn't tell I was really excited I was really happy about the way this was coming out if you guys didn't know, like I am not, I am not that good at eyeshadow. So the way this was coming out, I was so excited. So I was feeling myself. Right now, I was just praying that I get this liner right because oh, liner is just so hard for me. But I was just lining the top of my lid, no wing or nothing, just the top of my lid, just to prep myself for some lashes. And thank the Lord, I did not mess up, and we did it. Okay. Did I really say the top of my lid? I'm sorry, y'all. I'm tired. It's like 12 o'clock at night. But not the top of my lid. You guys know I'm lining my liner. Like, I'm lining my eyes. Okay? Okay? <laughs> like, you can be... You, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm lining my eyeliner, okay? Don't drag me. So now I'm going in with my MAC mascara. I was shook, y'all. This packaging was fancy. I was like, ooh... But yeah, I was trying so hard not to make that ugly face you make when you put on mascara. Like, I was really some willpower, y'all, because I be making the ugliest faces putting on mascara. I don't know why. 
I am really trying to coat my lashes and really brush through all of them. For some reason, my lashes are so difficult and every time I put lashes, they are just so stiff and straight and you can just see them. But I am going in with my Coco lashes in the style Girl About Town. Ooh, these lashes are so bomb. And I'm going in with my Duo Lash Glue. If you guys haven't tried the Duo Lash Glue with the brush tip, girl, go try it. It's life changing. But look at these lashes. Only $8 for these, y'all. $8. And for some reason, I don't know where the clip went where I put my highlighter on, but I did use the Makeup Forever pigment in the shade 13. If you guys don't know what it looks like, go on James Charles' new video. He showed you guys that highlight. It's so bomb. It's blinding. It's just so freaking cute. But yeah, I'm just putting some mascara on my bottom lashes. And then I also put some more of the same shadow that I first started with under my eyes. I don't know where all my clips went, but that's what I did. But now I'm going in my liquid lipstick by Anastasia in the shade Sad Girl. This color is so beautiful. If you guys couldn't tell, it does have like little sparkles of pink in it. And then it's like a real pretty like cranberry red and I just love it so much. I'm back y'all y'all really thought I was gonna be gone for that long do y'all see how cute this lip is like oh I love me a good dark lip I am not myself without a dark lip like oh my gosh I was feeling myself I had to stop the makeup routine and just start looking at myself in the camera like I was shook I was like oh my gosh like yes girl yes work Y'all thought that was it with the eyes? Nope, we're gonna go in with that color. And we're gonna put that right in our inner corner. Ew, if you guys do not put shadow in your inner corner, girl, do it. It's life changing. It just changes the whole look. And then I also use it to highlight my nose so I can have a little blinding nose, you know, with a little exclamation mark. Nothing like a good nose highlight. A lot of people don't like it, but I love nose highlight. I think it's so cute. And if you guys couldn't tell, my stupid self forgot to snatch my nose. I was like, why is it looking so not snatched? Like, so I had to go in and snatch my nose really quick. And if you guys couldn't tell, I did use my Anastasia Powder Contour Kit. It's my fave. And then I also went in with the highlighting shade from that palette and did my brow bone. Just a real subtle highlight. And now to finish the look, we're just going to set our face with some setting spray. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed me trying to be a beauty guru. Y'all know that was hard. Y'all know I don't know what I'm talking about. But I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And learn something from it so yeah <laughs> all right y'all that's all for this look i hope you guys loved it and enjoyed it it is so cute you guys can tell i am feeling myself oh i love this look so much so thank you for watching i hope you guys loved it make sure you guys give me a thumbs up down below and also comment down in this comment section where else were you comment? Make sure you comment down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because just subscribe. We're fun. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit those post notifications so you guys can see whenever I post because YouTube be doing me dirty sometimes. Don't you want some notifications when I post some heat? Like, come on. So make sure you subscribe, hit those post notifications, and make sure you guys follow me on all my socials, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat. They'll be all down below. So make sure you follow those, and I hope you guys love this look, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Before you go, make sure you go watch some other videos. We got some good stuff over here. Go watch those. You got a lot of videos to watch. You can watch them all day if you want to. Oh, 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 oh